Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Rubenstein here in Sacramento, California for Murphy's at the Table Lecture Series. We're going to use these coins to do something that I call the impossible four coin trick. You know that if I wiggle my hand just like this, the first coin actually vanishes? Well, it really doesn't vanish, it just travels over to here. What's bewildering is that if I close both hands and I give them a shake, the second coin travels across just like that. What's amazing is that even if you can't see it go, you could hear it arrive. Watch, there it goes, listen. You hear that? And that third coin goes right across. How many coins, Chris, do you see on the table? One. George, how many coins are in my hand? Three. George, I want you to give me your right hand palm up. I'm going to give you my three coins to hold. I want you to close your hand around them and turn your hand palm down, holding them really tight. Okay. Remember, you have three, and I have one. Now, Chris, try not to blink, because we all know that the hand can always fool the eye, sometimes the nose, and occasionally even the mouth. But it never, ever can fool the eyes of an entire audience and even the camera that has been burning my hand like a laser beam since we started this trick, which is why, under test conditions, it would be impossible for my coin to vanish. Now, Chris, you remember how many coins I put into George's hand? Yes. George, I'd like you to put them on the table one at a time, and Chris, you count for him as he does so? Oh, God. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. The impossible four coin what? trick. Thank you. What just wow. happened? Thank you. We're going to learn some new routines that I've never taught before, including Vegas math, which is a nice combination of a gadabout coins routine with a slot machine ending that I think you'll love. I have one coin and one coin. How much is one and one? Two. Should be two. That's what I learned. But in Vegas math, it's always one, two, three. Really, really strange. Very. Let me, let me do that again. Okay, so if I have three coins, and this time I take out one, two, and I put them away. How much is three minus two? One. Should be one. That's what I learned. But in Vegas math, it's one, two, three. Now, there's only one time that this doesn't work, okay? So if you have three coins and you take out one, two, and three, how much is, is three minus three? It's zero. It should be zero, but as I said, there's an exception because in Vegas, if you're down to zero, usually that's when you win the jackpot. <laughs> what? We're going to do a mentalism effect using coins and cards, so you're kind of combining all three in a really nice uh, presentation for walk around that anybody can do. And what I want you to do is just put some sort of identifying mark on the front so you know for sure that that's your coin. Okay. I'm going to do a prediction on the other side. Okay? Have a deck of cards. Okay. Cut about half the cards to the side. Take this deck, this half, and I want you to make three different piles. Okay. Okay. They're about even. That's good. I want you to put your hand on one of the piles. That's the one we're going to use. This one. Spread these out. And they're what, like five, six cards? Pull one of those cards out. Any one you want. Uh, you sure? Yes. Okay. Now that was pretty random, right? Very. Okay. So now, I have to admit that I made a prediction of a card that you would choose. I predicted you would choose the five of diamonds. The card that you chose is the five of diamonds. No. No. It's not the five of diamonds. It's the eight of hearts. But wait, I'm not a mentalist. I'm a friggin' coin magician. <laughs> I'm not going to mess things up. You chose the eight of hearts? Yes. Watch, that says five of diamonds. Watch, I just wave my hand over it, and it changes into the eight of hearts. That fooled me very bad. <laughs> that was great. So come join me, Mike Rubenstein, for the At the Table Lecture.